Uganda is to spend 45 billion shillings in rehabilitating uh, the Uganda Museum and several historical sites across the country. This was revealed by the Acting Commissioner for Museums and Monuments, Jacqueline Nirachiza BSCJ, as she addressed journalists at Uganda Media Center. Addressing journalists during a press conference on the commemoration of the World International Museum Day in Kampala, Jacqueline Nirachiza Vesje, the acting commissioner for museums and monuments, said that the government of Uganda has injected 45 billion Ugandan shillings in the rehabilitation of the Uganda Museum and other historical sites, which includes the monuments, buildings, and among others. We are launching a uh in the next one week, starting to construct a monument, which is the Equator Monument in Kasese, and we are going to refurbish the Uganda Museum under the World Bank. The World Bank uh, gave us, gave the ministry funds to refurbish or to rehabilitate the Uganda Museum. According to Jacqueline, the rehabilitation of the various museums will be followed by the repatriation of artifacts from the various museums in the diaspora. We had a dialogue last year, whereby a dialogue plus talking about what we have and also, you know, what we have uh, in the diaspora. Of course, we have artifacts in different museums which we are taken by our colonial masters a few from cambridge are going to be repatriated very soon on the other hand the minister for tourism retired colonel tom butimi revealed that uganda rejoined the rest of the world in commemorating the world museum day at kahunde grounds in golo district on 18th may 2023 5th of may uganda will join the rest of the world to celebrate the International Museums Day. And the national celebrations will be held in Kaunda Grounds, Gulu City. Gulu City, Northern Uganda sub-region. I wish to inform the public that the events and activities for Museum Week will run from 12th until 18th May. It's from this backlog that the minister called on the Ugandan public to utilize the available space at the Uganda Museum. The road Uganda Museum space is open. It's open for, for dialogue, open for education purposes, open for exhibitions, open for lectures, open for debate, that museum. So it's not just there. For people to go and look at the artifacts which are there, but even space now is open for the Uganda public to go there and hold lectures. We have been looking at promoting cultural heritage because worldwide or globally, cultural heritage brings a lot to, to different economies. And so, of course, we are aware that for Uganda, the cultural heritage subsector has been lagging behind. 